Tom and the Blood Moon Theory. In the audio drama in our image, the last day's American prophet, Thomas Hankin, lays his life on the line for the truth. A few years before those days, his daughter Gina and her husband David, that you may know from the story, were visiting with their son and Hankin's grandson, Tom. Tom. Grandpa, Mom and Dad is at your house. I knew you would be out here in the garden. They said that they would wait for you. Mom said that if they had come out here that you would want to give them a lesson on the New World Order and how they were planning to take over the world. Thomas. Oh, she did, huh? Tom. Turning up his radio. Grandpa, listen to this. It was a news report concerning the Tetrad Moon, so-called Blood Moon, that was happening on what they call Jewish Holy Days. Does God use the motion of the planets to communicate with us, to announce things to come? Well, many people believe that an astronomical occurrence called four blood moons is a message from God. A blood moon is a full lunar eclipse, and four of them in a row is called a tetrad. When they've occurred on the Jewish High Holy Days, it's coincided with major historical events, like the Six-Day War in 1967. Four blood moons on the Jewish High Holy Days has happened only three times in the last 500 years. The next time it occurs is starting next spring on the Jewish Passover. Tom. Wow, Grandpa. Does this mean Jesus is on his way? I mean, if Joel's prophecy is happening, isn't it the next thing that's supposed to happen? Mom says... Thomas, stop. Is your mom still telling you all that garbage about blood moons being the signs of the dark sun and the moon? Tom. Well, she said that at least I ought to know what so many are saying, just in case. Thomas. Sighs. <sighs> she should know that there is no case. Listen, Tom. If I told you that chickens were going to cross the street at 4 p.m., and I told you that a whole crowd of people went across the same road before 4 p.m. I then told you that the same day that the crowd of chickens went across the street, that Bob had dinner at 6 p.m. and after dinner, he drove his tractor across the road. Can you tell me the order of each event? Tom. Of course, Grandpa. That's elementary. They laughed as usual. Tom. Let me see. The crowd of people, then the chickens went at 4 p.m., and after that he drove the tractor across the road, because he did that after 6 p.m. Thomas, just two scriptures alone can totally destroy the idea that the blood moons are the fulfillment of Joel. Tom. How so, Grandpa? Thomas, let me see if you can figure it out. The prophet Joel in chapter 2, verse 31 said that the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the terrible day of the Lord comes. Yeshua, whom you call Jesus, said in Matthew 24, 29, immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall the sun be turned to darkness and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken and then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven tom this is like the chicken thing you asked me uh yeah uh thomas yeshua that is the hebrew name tom yes yeshua said the blood moons happen after the great tribulation which has not happened yet so these cannot be the eclipses that he spoke of thomas that's my grandson, very wise for your age. But understand this, that the darkening of the sun and the moon will also darken the stars and frighten people to death. They will have heart attacks for fear. The very powers in heaven will be shaken. So Joel's prophecy never could be fulfilled by the lunar eclipses. Tom. Grandpa, you are so smart. I hope to be as smart as you one day. I just wish Mom and Dad would stop arguing about things. Ever since Grandma died, my dad has just been acting strange. <laughs>